here we have a quadratic equation in vertex form. Vertex form is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where, where the point h comma k is the vertex. So this is nice because if you're given an example here like y equals the quantity x minus 3 squared minus 2, we automatically know the vertex. The h value here is 3, and the k value is negative 2. So you need to be a little bit careful. Because it's defined with a negative sign, the h is what comes after the negative sign. So here's the negative sign, and the h is what comes after the negative sign, which in this case is a 3. So our vertex is the point 3, 2. So we come over to our axes. We have <coughs> x-axis, y-axis with our scale included, and then po uh, plot the point 3, negative 2. 3, negative 2. Here's our vertex. Which means our axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through the vertex. which is the line x equals 3. And at this point, uh, pick an x value that's close to the x value of your vertex, and uh, let's just pick 1. So if we pick 1, what's the y value that we get? Well, we're going to plug it in. So we have y equal to 1 minus 3 squared minus 2. 1 minus 3 this is negative 2. We're going to square that, and then we're going to subtract 2. This is 4 minus 2, which is 2. So we have the point 1, 2 on our graph. So plot the point 1, 2. And then here we're walking 1, 2 units over to the line of symmetry. So we have to walk away 1, 2 units from the line of symmetry to plot this point. So these are the points here, um, 1, 2, and uh, 5, 2. Now that we have three points plotted, we can draw in our graph, our parabola. Okay. And this is how you graph a quadratic in vertex form.